Welcome back to Wyoming and Sweetwater County History Outreach. Today we are continuing our series within a series, Fountains of the Old West. Our subject, the Winchester Model 1876. While the brass-framed 1866 Winchester and the later 1873 Winchesters were highly successful designs, they were chambered for what amounted to pistol cartridges and lacked the effectiveness for larger game and longer ranges of powerful single shots like the Sharps and Remington Rolling Blood. Winchester wanted to break into the big bore market with a lever action repeating rifle. The result was the model 1876, which Winchester marketed as the centennial rifle in recognition of the nation's 100th birthday. The new rifle was introduced with an equally new cartridge, the bottleneck 4575 denoting a 45 caliber bullet and 75 grains of black powder. The standard loading was a 350 grain bullet at about 1,380 feet per second, a round that compared favorably with the Army 4570 in terms of power, but did not equal it. The Model 1876, while a powerful rifle could not match the big single shots of the day because it was basically a beefed up model 1873 and its toggle link action was simply not strong enough for the largest cartridges. The 1876 was, over time, offered in additional calibers, including 4060, 4560, and 4590. Nearly 64,000 were made and manufactured continued until 1898. Among its fans was the young Theodore Roosevelt. A particularly interesting variant of the Model 1876 was the 4575 NWMP carbine, which was the standard issue rifle of the Canadian Northwest Mounted Police from 1876 to 1914. Check back often on our YouTube channel and Facebook page for more episodes of Wyoming and Sweetwater County History Outreach. <laughs>